Manufacturing has been the lifeblood of the economy in Wichita, Kansas. One out of every five planes built in this country was made there. But folks in Wichita say Boeing double-crossed them when it suddenly announced plans to shut down the factory. We asked Jim Axelrod to look into it. Boeing has produced planes in Wichita since the 1920s, employing generations of workers like Ted Bates, an engineer for 34 years. You feel grateful for a career at Boeing? Yes. Yes. But now employees like Bates are shaking their heads at how Boeing's treated their hometown. You lose respect for those people who can't keep a consistent story. It's not just about employees, it's about a community. In 2008, Boeing asked Kansas officials to help win a $3.5 billion contract for 18 Air Force tankers. Wichita's mayor, Carl Brewer, says Kansas had a long history of coming through for Boeing. They've received $650 million in tax breaks over the last 30 years. That is an awful lot of money, and um, we thought that, that that really meant something. Brewer and the Kansas congressional delegation lobbied the Pentagon hard. In return, Boeing promised the tanker work would be kept in Wichita, saving 2,100 jobs and creating 7,500 more. And somebody looked you right in the eye and said, we're going to be in Wichita? We're going to be in Wichita, and it's going to be just like it's been for the past 84 years. <laughs> All that lobbying paid off. Boeing was awarded the $3.5 billion contract last February. No one here heard another word until November, when Boeing suddenly announced it was rethinking its plans. The company decided its production costs in Wichita were too high. It was moving the tanker work out of Kansas to other U.S. plants and was closing its Wichita operation next year. Do you feel duped? Well, you can't help but feel that way uh, because, in fact, you know, by 2013, I'll have 2,100 workers that are out there that are trying to uh, figure out what's going to happen in the future. Plus 7,500 jobs that never came here. Plus 7,500 jobs that will not come here. Brewer, who worked for Boeing for 20 years, would love an explanation from his old company. Trouble is, no one's returning his calls. Jim Axelrod, CBS News, Wichita, Kansas. Air Force One was built in Wichita.